Hello, I'm Jamie Becker, Director of the Health Promotion Division at the Laborers Health and Safety Fund of North America. The CDC estimates over 100,000 people died of drug overdoses between April 2020 and April 2021. This represents an almost 30% increase from the same time period a year earlier. Construction workers are more at risk for opioid use and abuse compared to many other professionals and have been disproportionately impacted by the opioid epidemic. That's because construction workers face an increased risk of injuries on the job and are more likely to be prescribed opioids to deal with injury-related pain. These significant increases in overdose deaths are driven largely by synthetic opioids, most notably fentanyl. Fentanyl is increasingly being combined with heroin, counterfeit pills, and cocaine. This unfortunately is often unknown to the user. This is especially dangerous because fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. Opioids initially provide an easy and effective way to manage pain. The problem is that people can quickly build up a tolerance and require more of the drug to get pain relief. For some people, this can lead to addiction. Additional factors in the construction industry that contribute to a high rate of opioid use and abuse include a lack of paid time off and financial pressure to return to work quickly after an injury. Both contribute to people looking for fast and effective ways to manage pain. Within the industry, it can also be difficult to ask for help if someone develops an addiction to opioids. Asking for help is often seen as a weakness, and there is a lot of negative stigma attached to mental health. Opioid abuse in construction needs to be taken seriously and handled with understanding. Successful interventions support workers in at least three different phases. Number one, stopping workplace injuries in the first place by creating safer work sites and keeping workers healthy and out of the doctor's office. Two, educating workers on the risks of opioids, signs of dependence, as well as alternatives for pain management. And three, access to affordable and comprehensive treatment for workers struggling with addiction. Reducing the stigma of addiction and creating a support system for employees to get help and then return to the job are key. With understanding and a compassionate approach, we can help reduce opioid overdoses and save lives. For more information on opioid addiction and intervention, visit our website at lhsfna.org or contact the Funds HP Division. Thank you and stay safe.